Hi guys, here we are again. I wanted to revisit the lesson that we did last week. Um, it was about uh, making a self-portrait or portrait of someone else in the style of Pablo Picasso. So basically, we had to take a face and break it down in the middle so it looks like you have a profile. Do you see that here where you, uh, it almost looks like a profile with the lips on the side. So um, this style that Pablo Picasso created is called Cubism. He is the father of Cubism. Um, and Cubism takes all the features of a person or objects and turns them into geometric shapes which means like a triangle, a rectangle, a circle. So you see the eyes, you know, this is like a, a shape, an elliptical shape, like a football shape. And then you see the iris is a big circle. Uh, did you notice that one eye is uh, much higher on the page than the other one? And the nose is kind of goofy. Uh, it created also some lines on the side here. And I was just going to uh, actually draw a face again to show you that you guys can do it. So here we go. I have my white page here. And I'm going to start with making the bottom part of the face. So I come down with my marker and go back up. Then I will make the top of my face, which is like a reversed bowl, if you want, to, or a semicircle. Then I will start drawing a line in the middle and create a nose. You can make a pointy nose, you can make a rounded nose, it does not matter. Then we come down and make the side, um, the profile of the lips, you see that? and then the profile of a chin. So it's like a little, um, a curve come to a point and then a slight curve and curve again, just like making zigzags and S's. And uh, the nose is, as you see, midway between the top and the bottom. Now I'm going to make the eye and the eye is an elliptical shape. The eye is going to be my pen, my marker is just running out a little bit. Um, cut like an arc on the top and then a reversed arc on the bottom. See the two points here? So basically you meet at two points. It's like if you had an imaginary line, you could draw it here and you could just create a line on the top and a curved line on the bottom. Then you make the iris. The iris is a big circle and generally it's not a full circle because otherwise it would be right in the middle of the eye, but you can make it in the middle of the eye like Pablo Picasso did. That's fine too. And the other one, we're just going to bring the eye down to make it asymmetrical. That means not symmetrical to the other one, not on the same line. The iris and the pupil. Now I'm going to make an eyebrow. This is one eyebrow and this is another one. For the lips, you can leave them like that if you want, or you can make lips, which is like a mountain on either side and then a curve on the bottom. You can make it like that or you can just leave the lips as they are because that's a perfectly fine style. Now we're going to make the hair. The hair for a girl, if you want to make girl hair, then that would be just bringing down some lines. And, and you know what, before we forget also, we need to make some kind of a neck. So we're just going to create a line coming down on either side and slightly curved if you want. You can make it straight too. And if you don't know what to do, you can just follow with your finger and create an imaginary line before you even start writing with a marker. And if you don't feel comfortable 
making your your final page like that just go ahead and get a sketch paper and a pencil and sketch it first on the sketch paper then you can do your final now I'm going to bring my lines on the other side down and I'm going to make this hair a little bit longer than the other one and bring the lines down here we go you can create ears if you want so the ear is this is like a reversed C you see that and on this side here we go and if you do want also to add some bangs you can add some bangs and a line to frame the bangs so that's the lesson for the day I hope you have all of you a chance to experience this wonderful art form that's cubism now i want to show you as a wrap up a couple things first a little helper um thing that i've done for you i'll take this page away from here and i'm going to show you this this is going to be your tracer you are uh, if you want to borrow that, you can. You can trace that, and that will give you the shape of your uh, face. And you can add all the details later. And the colors, we'll add colors. So that's one thing. And then, to close off our video, I want to show you a goofy picture of Pablo Picasso. This is Pablo Picasso, or a photo of him. This was him a long time ago. All right, guys, happy art.